<laughs> Back now, people have reported issues with getting insulin over the past year. Yeah, a viewer reached out to the KHU 11 Verify team to find out why his family is having such a tough time finding one particular diabetes medication. Here's Marcelina Benito. KHU 11 viewer Jerry reached out to the KHU 11 Verify team after shopping around for his wife's type 1 diabetes medication. We've been trying for at least two months to get insulin from Walgreens, our local mm -hmm. Walgreens. They just can't get any of the Novolog insulin. So Jerry asked the k 2 11 Verify team. Is there a Novolog insulin shortage at Walgreens? We went to our sources, including the pharmaceutical company that makes Novolog, Novo Nordisk. Now, according to the drug company, Novolog is a rapid acting insulin. A patient with type one diabetes must have insulin at all times or is at risk for death. According to Houston Methodist endocrinologist Dr. Archana Sadhu, switching insulin brands can have unpredictable results on the patient's blood sugar management. She needs Novolog specifically for her insulin bump. The pharmaceutical company Novo Nordisk confirms manufacturing delays caused a shortage of Novolog that ended last month, saying while they have resumed shipping products, it may take a couple of weeks for products to flow through the supply chain in all pharmacies to fully restore their stock. And since Jerry had problems getting the medication from Walgreens, the k 2 11 Verified team reached out. In a statement, Walgreens confirms having intermittent supply issues. The answer to Jerry's question, no, there is not a shortage of Novolog at Walgreens, but there are some supply issues, and those issues can happen for a variety of reasons, ranging from FDA factory inspections to natural disasters. Drug shortages are a very prevalent challenge within the, the current healthcare system. Alex Varkey is the president of the American Pharmacists Association and heads up Houston Methodist Pharmacy Services. His best advice to avoid shopping around for your medicine develop a relationship with your doctor and pharmacist. That relationship with that pharmacist uh, can be very, very helpful, especially uh, to allow that pharmacist the opportunity to advocate for them and, and have that conversation with their physician about you know what things might need to change uh, or be updated about their care. And that includes you know, how to manage drug shortages that are currently happening right now. With your Verify, I'm Marcelino Benito.